Hi everybody, I'm Stefan for CGTestPlus.com and in this tutorial we are going to continue with our white bulb in Cinema 4D we are going to texture it, white it and render it so let's get started first of all let's rename this to white bulb and let's create a new material and let's create, uh, let's name it Guas let's enable the transparency and let's enable the reflection as well, set the reflection to 50% apply a Fresnel shader and set the mixed strength to 50% as well and set the brightness to let's say like 90 and the refraction to 1.3 and apply this to the top part of our white bulb like so after that we need to duplicate it and let's call this one Guas Inner and set the transpar and set the transparency to 95% and the refraction to 1.6 and for the reflection set this to 30 and open the white bulb and we need to select let's see this box here and apply this material to the box. Now we need to create another material and let's call this one Chrome Inner. Let's name it and let's set the reflection of the chrome to 75% and the core to black. And let's apply this one to the helix and to the wine as well. Create a new material and let's name it Chrome and set the reflection to 100% and apply it here and just rotate create another material and let's make it black and just with a bit of reflection and apply it here so we are ready with the textures of our white bulb now if we do a render this is how it looks like so we need to create the floor we need to take our white bulb and move it up like so and probably let's go to the see right view here select the white bulb and go to the rotation tool and just rotate it like 75 degrees and hit W to change um, to the world transform axis let's move it like that and we are ready let's position our camera here this is our 4 and we are going to create two versions for our white bulb one turned off and one turned on now let's uh, start with a turned on white bulb so we need to create a white and move the white up here like that we need to make the white warmer so something like that and set the intensity to 30% and set the shadow to shadow map soft let's go to the details and choose for the fall of the inverse square uh, let's set the radius decay to 50 and let's set the contrast to 100 now let's uh, see let's go to the project and probably we need to exclude some of the elements uh, but this works fine for now so we are going to leave it like so we need to apply a texture to the floor so let's create a new material and let's call this one floor go to the color channel and load an image and open it we need to apply this texture to the floor and we need to tile it like 8 times and let's click seamless so it tiles seamlessly and open the texture go to the bump channel 
and let's load the bump channel for this and for the sampling we can use alias 1 which is a bit better than uh, the MIP which is by default and let's close this and if we do a render you can see how our white bulb looks so far you can see some detail here in the wood and uh, maybe we can rotate the camera uh, the problem is that uh, we don't have any reflections here so we are going to go to the content browser and uh, drop the HDRI studio rig and let's go to the studios and I'm going to drop the 3 softboxes studio just for the reflections you can use uh, a sky object with an HDRI as you can see this is how our reflections look like and if we enable the render region interactive render region here using alt air shortcut on the keyboard you can see how uh, our reflections look like and they are pretty strong right now we can try to rotate this but probably I kinda like it like so or maybe like that you need to experiment to get the look you're after so let's set this to 15 and let's set the brightness to 20 or 40 just to have a bit of reflection there and uh, let's see we need to go to the render settings using shift uh, control B excuse me shortcut and uh, for the anti-aliasing we are going to set it to best and uh, also we need to change the output to 16 by 9 if we do a render now you can see our white bulb and how it looks so uh, looking good now uh, we can take the white and make it a child of the uh, white bulb so if we move the entire object uh, the white will move with it and probably we can try to exclude the rectangle here and if we do that you can see the effect we are going uh, the effect we are achieving here uh, we have the full transparency of the white bulb and uh, the white here so maybe we can try to exclude only the let's see only some of the elements here we want everything so that's a uh, pretty good looking you can uh, take the white uh, let's remove this you can take the white and go to the general and uh, reduce the opacity like so and this is how our uh, white bulb uh, looks like uh, when it's turned on one thing I can notice is that uh, the top glass part of the bulb is not smooth enough so we need to select it and drop a hyper nerves object just to smooth it out another thing that we need to do is to create a new material and let's enable the luminance and set it to 150 and let's name it luminance and we can uh, drop this one on the helix here uh, oops not on this but on this here because this is the element which generates white and we want to be sure that it is uh, pretty bright so uh, that's it let's render to picture viewer to see how it looks like and here are some old renders that I did and uh, that's it uh, you can change the angle uh, for the white bulb or tweak the uh, fall off and stuff like that so that's about the white bulb turned on and we need to save this project and uh, maybe not save it uh, but we need to do some tweaks so first of all we need to take this glass and 
let's name it was off and we need to go to the transparency and set it to 100% transparency and we need to apply this material to the oops, this element here we need to turn off the light we need to create another material and let's call this one 4 and go to the color channel and click on gradient and set it to circular and we need the gradient to be kind of a brighter in the brighter in the middle and darker on the edges and let's apply this on the 4 and for the studio rig we need to set this to 100% and uh, let's go to the render settings and apply a go illumination and if we do a render now, oops I forgot something uh, we need to switch the places of these two materials so if we do a render now we are going to see uh, how the white bulb looks like uh, when it's turned off and uh, we need maybe to do some minor tweaks like adding uh, some ambient occlusion and stuff like that um, but we are going to see that when uh, the render finishes so uh, we can see it looks pretty good right now we have some super nice reflections here on the edges and uh, that's pretty bright here uh, maybe we can lower the reflection of um, we can lower the reflection of the element so let's uh, let's try or maybe bore it like 15 and it takes a while to render uh, probably we need to darken the for gradient so let's go to the gradient again and maybe this is way too saturated um, probably something like that and maybe brighter here and let's render to picture viewer and I'm going to pause the recording and come back when it's uh, ready here is the render and as you can see it's uh, pretty bright right now maybe we can uh, move the angle like so and maybe darken the gradient it takes a bit of tweaking here uh, but overall uh, that's the look we are going for and uh, let's rotate this like so and if we uh, enable the ambient occlusion as well and click the evaluate transparency which uh, detects uh, where we have transparency and uh, basically it's not going to create a shadow uh, below the transparent objects so let's render this and see how it's going to look like that's how our render looks like uh, as you can see we don't have any ambient occlusion right here because uh, we clicked on the evaluate transparency uh, but it looks kinda unrealistic that way so you can uh, you can go to the render settings and turn it off and, and also maybe this reflection here is a bit strong as you can see it's very strong so you can try to reduce this or maybe go to the chrome material and go to the reflection and bore it even more or set your reflection brightness to 85 and play with the settings uh, but basically that's uh, the idea of uh, what we create as you can see we have some pretty nice reflections here and maybe we can take this and like rotate it like so and if we turn off the ambient occlusion just for the sake of rendering uh, because it takes forever as you can see 7 minutes and 30 seconds uh, just to render this image uh, at uh, that low resolution so a good tip is uh, to turn it off while you work and make uh, test renders you can even turn off the anti-aliasing and uh, set the global illumination to low 
so it renders uh, quicker and just to get an idea of how your renders uh, look like and that's with the changed angle of the HDRI and your reflection uh, looks uh, better right now and um, probably uh, that's it about this tutorial one thing I forgot is uh, we need to go to the 4 material and um, we can probably set this to like 35 just to get uh, more detail in the 4 and another thing I forgot is that uh, we need to play with the specular uh, 44 depending of uh, what result you're going for this uh, have a great impact on your final image so take that in mind and uh, basically that's it hope you liked this tutorial and find it useful once again I'm Stefan for cgtelspuss.com and we'll see you next time